17 chapter. We live, Pastor. We need to kick it on. It's live, ain't it? Yes, you live. Yeah, we live. 17 chapter, the book of Acts. Yes, sir. Looking at verse 30. Lord put this particular chapter and book on my heart as I meditated this morning. Just me and him. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> I thank God for that time. Like I always say, don't even hear the birds tweeping. <laughs> birds asleep. Amen. Nobody but me and the Lord. Thank you, thank you Lord. Amen. Acts 17 chapter, mm -hmm. verse 30. You have it, say amen. amen. And the time of this ignorance, mm -hmm. God winked at. God winked. Mm -hmm. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Amen. Let us pray. You, Father you. God, in Jesus' name. Yes. Yes, Lord. Lord, it's by your Holy Spirit that we hear. Lord, we, yes, bless you. Lord. we bless you, Lord. And we can do the things that we do. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for being a sovereign God. Mm -hmm. Lord, nothing happens unless you allow it. We realize that. We know it. But we walk by faith and not by sight. Lord, we thank you for who you are in the midst of this world, this crooked and perverse generation that we're living in. Lord, we come now asking for forgiveness of sin. Lord, for you said if we confess our sins, that you're faithful and you're just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, 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 Lord. Lord, I come now asking that I decrease yes, Lord. and your Holy Spirit increase. Yes, Lord. You increase Lord. Yes. I realize that it's all about you. Nothing of me but all, all about you. About you. Yes, Lord. And Lord, as we thank you right now, you. have your way in this place. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Lord, open the eyes of your people. Lord, touch the ears, Lord, that they may hear and receive oh, yes, Lord. your word. Mm -hmm. Not my word, but your word. Your word, Lord. Your word. Thank Lord, and we'd be mindful to give you all the praise, all the, praise. All the glory. Of course, well, in Jesus' name Jesus we pray. Name we pray. Amen. 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 And if we title this message, we title it mm -hmm. Spiritual Ignorance. Spiritual Ignorance. Spiritual Ignorance. Okay. Okay. And Paul here, huh? Okay, I, got, I thought I wasn't known. I was just, I thought I wasn't known. <laughs> Spiritual ignorance, man. And I, and I just, I looked at verse 30 here. Lord took me to verse 30. And he said, the time of this ignorance, God winked at. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. All men everywhere. Let's go back. Let's go back up here. Go back up to 22. I'm on. You probably read some of it. You heard it, but I'm, I'm going to kind of go over a little bit for you so you can be enlightened also. In the 22nd verse here. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotion, I found an altar with the inscriptions to the unknown God, whom therefore you ignorantly worship him. Declare I unto you. Paul said, I'm going to tell you about him. I'm going to tell you who he is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you. Y'all don't know. But I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you who he is. God that made the world. I'm talking about my God. My Lord and my Savior. I'm talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See, people got a lot of gods out there. They got little gods. But I'm talking about the God. The true and living God. Paul said, I'm going to tell you who he is. This is who he is. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worship with men's hands, as though he need anything. Seeing he giveth to all life and breath 
in all things and has made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined the time before appointed and the bounds of their inhabitation. I'm going to tell you who he is. You're going to know after the day if you don't know already. The true and living God. That they should seek the Lord. If happily they might feel after him and find him. Though he be not far from every one of us. He ain't for y'all. For in him we live and move and have our beings. As certain also of your own poor, say it, say it. For we are also his offspring. It's in him that I live, that I move, that I have my beings. I, 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 I thought about it this week. It's, it's been a trying week. And look like y'all say he said that every time he come up here. But I'm 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 in the heat now. I can't I can't stop talking about this heat. I'm 50 feet up in the air, painting the roof on this furnace Saturday morning. Didn't get no sleep for the baby. Friday night. Bent over the top of this roof. It's from where I'm at to probably the back of the music room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm praying before I get there. I'm dreading before I get there. I don't want to go. Let's know not work. But I, I, I get joy in knowing that my God is able. See, it ain't, it ain't me. And see, on, on the ride down here, the, the, the songwriter said, What do you say, Bill? Mm. Thank you, Lord. Songwriter said. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. I may be wounded, mm. but I'm healed. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. I may have some circumstances, but I'm healed. I may have some disappointments, but I'm healed. I'm healed. With my aches and pains. Yeah. I'm healed. Yeah. I'm claiming my healing, Chuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it's there. Uh -huh. But I'm healed. Come on, but I'm healed. Say what God say now. Amen. Amen. Verse 29. Uh -huh. 29. First, must then, as we are the offspring of God, we are not to think that the Godhead is likened to gold mm -hmm. or silver. A stone, yeah. a graven by art and man's device. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm -mm. That's right. This God, the true and living God, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He made everything. Amen. Amen. He created everything. Amen. Don't nothing live or move without Him operating in it. That's a great God. This world and the world we live in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Paul here, Paul. Yes. Paul preached that Thessalonica. Yes, and he went on to Berea. Mm -hmm. right. Had a dispute with the Athenians. Yes, sir. And then Morris Hill. Mars Hill. Well, some mocked and some believed. Mm -hmm. That's right. Some mocked and some believed. What a journey. What a journey. What a journey. Spiritual ignorance. Mm -hmm. Spiritual ignorance. We've we, we been there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be before you were born. Spiritual ignorance. Yes, yes, yes. You know, ignorance being the, the quality of, of, of not knowing, yes, right. uninformed, right. un unaware. Unaware. Right. unaware. We've been there. We've been there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. But the main thing is the spiritual ignorance comes from sin. Mm. That's right. Sin. That's right. That's cool. Rooted from sin. That's right. Amen. From sin. And unless you're born again, mm. unless you're born again, you will never understand this book. You never, I don't care how good you read, how much education you done had, how many degrees you got. 
unless you're born again, you cannot understand this book. The spiritual man, only the spiritual man can comprehend God's word. And it's by his Holy Spirit. See, see that there's knowledge and then there's revelation knowledge. See, a, a lot of people have knowledge, but revelation knowledge is what you need. Revelation knowledge tell you when Jesus said, who do men say that I am? Some say uh, the prophet, mm -hmm. yes, Jeremiah. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Who do men say that I am? Mm -hmm. That's right. Revelation knowledge says, thou, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Yes, sir. The living God. Mm -hmm. When you receive revelation knowledge, can't nobody take that away from you. Oh, revelation knowledge said, touch my hand. Put your hand in my side. Yes, sir. Right. Revelation knowledge. Revelation knowledge said, my Lord and my God. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. That's revelation yeah. knowledge. Yeah. All right. All right. You got to have that. Yes, sir. To have a relationship with him. Yes. To know who he is. Yes. What he can do. Yes. What he can bring you out of. Yes. Right. When and any time he get ready to bring you out. Yes, sir. If he don't bring you out, Come on now. I still know he's able. I know you're able. That's revelation knowledge. Yes, That's right. You got to have it. Yeah. Supernatural. Amen. Amen. Thank you. The seasons here, they, they got a, a sign that said an unknown God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory Who they ignorantly worship. Yes, sir. Town square. In the town square. A lot of people, a lot of people out there in the world yeah. are worshiping an unknown God. But when you know what you know and you receive revelation knowledge of the true and living God, then you can testify like Paul said here. I'm talking about the God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he's Lord of heaven and earth and he don't dwell in temples made with hands. Revelation knowledge. That's good, Bill. That's good. That's right. I thank God Come on now. that my eyes was open yes. one day. Yes. 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 The Lord saved me. Yes. He delivered me. Yes. You see, the, the light that we are given when we're born again, you have to improve on that light. You have to grow that light. He wants you to mature in that light so you can help somebody else. Amen. Amen. I say all the time, the Bible says, other sheep. I have, I have, he said, that are not of this fold, yeah, this great commission fold, right. the Jewish fold. Yes, they got to come in. Oh, yeah. okay. How can they come in if you ain't got revelation knowledge to let them know who he is, all right. All right. who he is in your life, yes, what he done for you? Yes, I want to tell my kids and my grandkids yes, who he is, okay. what he done for me. Yes, what he's doing for me and what he's going to do for me. Past, present, and tense, all living. That's what's wrong with the world today. We fell by the wayside. The church have. Parents have. Daddies have. Mama's bringing up the real. And some of them done brought the front. Flip on over to Acts, Acts the 26th chapter. Let's flip over. Come on, come on, Acts the 26th chapter. Come on, join it together. Line on line. Yeah. 26th chapter. Looking at verse 19 and 21. Mm -hmm. Acts 26th chapter. 19? Verse 19 mm -hmm. through 21. That's right. You have it, say amen. 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 Well, upon, O king, O gripper. I was not obedient unto the heavenly vision, but showed first unto them of Damascus and Jerusalem and throughout all the coast of Judea 
and then the Gentiles, that they should repent and turn to God and do works meet for repentance. For these calls, the Jews caught me in the temple and went about to kill me. Having therefore attained help of God, I continued unto this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other thing than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come, that Christ should suffer, and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead, and should show light unto the people and to the Gentiles. And as he thus spake for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art beside thyself. Much learning do make thee mad. But he said, I'm not mad, most noble Festus, but speak forth the words of truth and soberness. Soberness. For the king knoweth of these things. You know, before whom also I speak freely. For I'm persuaded that none of these things are hidden from him. For this thing was not done in a corner. King Agrippa, believest thou the prophets? I know that thou believest. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuaded me to be a Christian. You almost persuaded me, man, with your testimony. I almost. You almost got me. I was listening, and I, and I, I mean, I fell right in there. Spiritual ignorance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Spiritual ignorance. Mm, mm, almost. <laughs> almost. Yes, sir. John, fourth chapter. John four. Flip back over to John. Come on, stay with it now. John four. John, the fourth chapter. Spiritual ignorance, y'all. Spiritual ignorance. Amen. John four. Oh, praise God. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Spiritual ignorance. Amen. John, the fourth chapter. Looking at verse 10. Verse 10 okay. You have it, say amen. amen. And it reads, Jesus answered and said unto her, okay. If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it was that said to thee, Give me to drink, right. thou would have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Living water. Living water. Living water. Living water. If you knew who I was, the song said this morning, do you know Jesus? Amen. He said, if you knew who I was, you would ask, and I'd give you some living water. See, that well going to run dry. That natural well, it's going to run dry. But this living water that I got, oh, you'll never thirst. You'll never thirst. See, she, she was spiritually ignorant. She didn't realize, didn't know. But when her eyes was open, Bible says she ran into the city. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. I met a man in his name Jesus that told me all that I ever done. If this the Christ, Revelation knowledge told her that. But before she was spiritually ignorant, like so many of us was. Oh, yeah, blind and couldn't see. Yeah, your eyes was open, but you spiritually blind. Oh, yeah, we've been there, done that. Amen. Yes, Lord. Oh, no, you said like, well, not me. Okay, 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 okay. Go, go to Ephesians. Go to Ephesians. Okay, everybody, Ephesians. Okay, go to Ephesians 2, second chapter. Second chapter. Second chapter, Ephesians. Looking at the first four verses. Some people say, he ain't talking about me. No, I, I wasn't blind. I could see clearly. I thought I could too. I I Ephesians, could. the second chapter. First four verses. You have it say amen. amen. And you had he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. Yes, sir. When time passed, you walked according to the course of this world, right. according to the prince and the power there, right. the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, yes, among whom also we all, all mean all. We all had our conversation, our lifestyle, in the time past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of our flesh 
and of the mind and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, but God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us. But God, <laughs> but God, but God. See, you, you can't get away. You can't get away. I don't care how good you think you are or you were. Like Herbert said this morning, he know who we are. We're like filthy rags. He's a holy God. And we're like filthy rags. Your, your good, good, good ain't worth two cents. It's his goodness, his righteousness, his sanctification, his holiness, that he died that we might receive. That we might receive. <laughs> flip, on, flip back over to Ephesians, fourth chapter. Let's flip back over to fourth chapter, Ephesians. 418. 418. I'm talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The true and living God. You ain't got to worship no statue. You ain't got to worship your child, your husband, your wife. You worship God only. Ephesians 4.18. You have it, say amen. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Blindness of their heart, ignorance. That, you know, a lot of times when you hear the word ignorance, it sounds kind of harsh. You know, when a, a person or people, you ignorant. In so many words, they don't, they, a lot of people don't really understand what it means. But they realize it's a harsh word to say to somebody. You know, like on the job when somebody mess up or they do something wrong, boss, you ignorant. I mean, it's like cutting a man with a real knife. But sometimes people don't understand or realize what it means. It means not knowing. You, you're uninformed. You're unaware. And all that getting, get understanding. Get understanding. Truth. People want truth. When you get a hold of truth, when you get a hold of truth, revelation knowledge, truth of who he is in your life. I'm, I, I, I'm talking about, I, I know and I got him in my life, but when you get it, when you grab a hold of it, when you root it and ground it in truth, can't nobody take it. They can, they can, they can try to get rid of the Bibles, they can try to do this and do that. But when you got truth, when you got it here, they can't take it. They can't take it. Can't take it away. <laughs> can't take it away. <laughs> Titus, go to Titus. Titus, look in the second chapter of Titus. 11 through 14. Second chapter Titus. of Titus. Second Timothy, Titus. Little old book after Second Timothy. That's right. That's right. That's Second chapter. Mm -hmm. Looking at verse 11 through 14. Amen. 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 When you have it, say amen. amen. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. All, all men. All Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Looking for that blessed hope and that glorious appearance of the great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Look, 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 look how revelation knowledge is. It just puts you, put you right in and let you see it with your own eyes. Look, look, what, look, let me read it again. Now, see, some of y'all have missed that. He said, looking for that blessed hope. And that glorious appearance of the great God, the great God, and our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
He came and he's God in the flesh. Can't nobody take that from you. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquities and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good work. A peculiar people. Y'all different. Chuck said years ago, the, the, the man on the job told him, said, you, you different. You ain't like them other ones. What you mean, man? You different. Well, I, I, I know I look different. Yeah, I'm still black. But you don't act like they do. Why, 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 what, 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 what happened? We all done had that said to us at some point in time. Yeah. You different. Why, why, why? Because I've been born again. The Lord saved me. The Lord delivered me. He set me free. I don't act like I used to act. I don't walk like I used to walk. I don't talk like I used to talk. I've been changed. I know I've been changed. The old deacons in the old church, that, he, that, one, he, that was his favorite song. I know I've been changed. And he sung it like he know he'd been changed. When you know you've been changed, you can sing like you know you've been changed. But if you ain't been changed, you can't sing like you know you've been changed. You got to be changed to sing like you know you've been changed. Praise God. God Almighty. Spiritual ignorance. Spiritual ignorance. We've been now. Been now. All of us. James, first chapter. Book of James. Go to James, first chapter. Book of James. Boy, he's good. God is good. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. First chapter, mm -hmm. book of James. Yes, Looking at verse 21 through 25. 21. 21 through 25. You have it, say amen. Amen. Take your time, Bill. Take your time now. Amen. Book of James. And it reads, mm -hmm. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, yes, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is likened unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his own way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty yes, and continue therein, he being not a forgetful here, but a doer of the word, yes, this man shall be blessed Amen. indeed. Amen. Blessed indeed. I'm blessed. When you're born again. When you get past being spiritually ignorant. In other words, getting to know the Lord. A personal relationship. That's good. That's good. That's good. And you get to hungering and thirsting for the word of God. Because he'll give you appetite. He'll give you appetite. Her, her, her purpose said that this morning. We, we some greedy folks here now. If, if, if you don't want to eat a full meal, a full course meal, then you're in the wrong place here. See, because you ain't going to get no 10, 15 minutes of word here. In 45 minutes, an hour of praise and worship. You, you might get that in the regular traditional churches, but you ain't going to get it here. You're going to get full. You're going to want dessert. And you might want a snack afterwards. Yes, Lord. I'm reading, Bill. What, what, what I'm trying to get you to see is when you hear the word of God, don't just hear it. Be a doers of it also. He said, if you continue in my word, continue. That's the key. Then are you my disciples. Don't just start and stop, start and stop, start and stop. Continue in his word. 
That's how you grow. That's how you mature. Well, you can help somebody else. It's about helping somebody else. You got yours. Don't be a hog and keep it all in. Share with somebody that don't know, that's spiritually ignorant of God's word and who he is and what he can do, what he has done. You ought to want people to know him and have a relationship like you have. People are dying going to hell every day. And we have the opportunity to share. Family members, co-workers, people that we don't even know. People are watching. People are watching. Well, I'm getting hot up in here, man. It's the air on. I called Tony yesterday and told him to turn the air on. Praise God. It's on. Okay, okay. Well, well we all right then. We all right. Praise God. First Peter, first Peter, man. First Peter, fourth chapter. First Peter, fourth chapter. My, my glasses sliding off my face. Thank you, brother. Y'all give me something, man. Give me something here. Good love. I know he can cool me off too. Praise God. Woo. Let me get there. First Peter. Let's go to First Peter fourth chapter. First Peter fourth. First Peter fourth chapter. Amen. Good, Amen. Good, Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. <laughs> First Peter fourth chapter. Fourth chapter. Uh -huh. Looking at verse 17 and 18. Okay. You have it say amen. amen. For the time is come. That judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be for them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, why shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? God, if we just make it in, if we just barely make it in, barely make it in, smoke running from you behind. You barely, you barely got there. Barely got there. But by his grace and mercy, you made it. No, 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 don't care how, how, how bad you got burnt trying to, but you made it. But, but, but if the ungodly, what you think going to happen to them? It's going to be a barbecue. Ooh, you talking about folks with you laugh. It's going to be a big cookout. Good Lord, I'm telling you. Second Peter, flip on over to Second Peter. One of my favorites. Y'all heard me mention it, but read it for yourself. Second Peter, third chapter. Second Peter, third chapter. Okay, one through nine. I, 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 I just had to pick up all of that. Second Peter, third chapter. It said, the second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, mm -hmm. in, both. in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, yes, that ye may, may be mindful of the word which was spoken before the holy prophets, mm -hmm. and of the commandments of us, the apostles, mm -hmm. and of the Lord and Savior, yes, knowing this first, uh -huh. that thou shalt come in the last days, scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. And this they willingly are ignorant of. That by the word of God, the heavens was of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Whereby the world that then was, being overflown with water, it perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack. Concerning his promise. 
as some men count slackness, but as long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. All have the opportunity to come to repentance, to repent. Oh, yeah, they're still talking. Why is it? Well, somebody mentioned it this morning. Why was God when the buildings collapsed in Florida? He in the same place he was all the time. He ain't went nowhere. You might have left, but he ain't went nowhere. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same God. Same God. If he wanted the building to stay up, it would have stayed up. He's sovereign. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oui. Uh, message there. Message. I'm sure he is. Uh, thank you, Lord. Mm. Back to Acts, 17 chapter. Uh, back to Acts 17. 17 and 30. Come on, stay with it now. Stay with it. 17 and 30. Oh, that's good. That's good. Hey, 17 and 30. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Yes, sir. Acts 17 chapter, verse 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, in the time of this ignorance, God winked, God winked at God winked. You know, when I, when I looked at that wink, I, I, I thought about, I thought about God's forbearance. Forbearance. And see, the forbearance of God is him, his restraint, him holding back, him, him slowing down the course of your spanking, however you want to put it now. So slowing it down because your name is written in the book. His forbearance. Him giving you time to repent. Isn't that, isn't that mercy? Isn't that mercy? Now, my, my Bible tells me that while I was yet was a sinner, he died for me. He died while I was yet an enemy of the cross. He died for me. He, he gave me a chance. He gave me time. He gave me time to, to hear his word. To let his word penetrate in my heart. That, 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 that I might be changed. That I might be set free. That the shackles may come off of my feet. And that I don't jump when the enemy said jump. I don't curse when the enemy said curse. I don't hit him when the enemy said hit him. I, I, I'm going I'm I'm to get somebody here pretty soon. That forbearance. That forbearance. Romans 2. Romans 2. Romans 2. It'll kind of bring home a little bit more for you. Romans 2. His forbearance. Romans second chapter. Looking at the first four verses. You have it say amen. And it reads, Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. Hmm. For thou that judges doest the same thing. What? You mean when years ago when I, I, I seen this fella come out of the store with a 12 pack? And I seen him and I looked at him and I said, how can he drink this time of morning? And the Holy Spirit said, you did it. <laughs> you did. And I had to quickly repent. I'm trying to judge another man for stuff I did. Isn't that something? How we look at other people. How we judge other people. And we done, done like we ain't never done nothing. Sin is sin. Amen. Amen. My Bible tells me all unrighteousness is sin. Amen. Is sin. That's right. That's right. 
It said, but we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which committed such things. And think of thou this, O man, that judges them which do such things and do it saying that thou shalt escape the judgment of God. Verse 4. Or despises thou the riches of his goodness, the forbearance, that is, and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. We, the goodness of God, his forbearance, him holding back, not giving me that beating that I should have got, not giving me death which I deserve. His long suffering, his forbearance. That's enough to shout on, y'all. We. Yeah, that is. That's enough right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's his long suffering. He was long suffering with me, man, with me. I have to look at me. Herbert said this morning, not my mother, not my brother, but it's me, oh Lord. It's me. The things I've done when I was a fool back then. It scared me when I eat. No, uh uh. I I come quick. I I come quick. It's like if you turn off somewhere in the wrong place and you know it don't look right, you're going to keep going. You keep going, Herbert. I don't care where you at. Look at your surroundings. The Lord may be telling you, go to the right, not to the left. It ain't good over there in the left. Baby kids live over there in the left. Them some bad kids. Praise God. Amen. Romans, flip on over. Romans 3. Third chapter. Third chapter. Just flip on over. Right. Should be already there. Right. Looking at verse 23 through 26. Okay, 23? 23 through 26. Mm, that's right. You have it, amen? Say amen. 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 For all, all, that are word all again, all, all have sinned it, and come short of the glory of God, Everyone. being justified freely by his grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a petition through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believe in Jesus. He's just. And he's a justifier. Whatever I deserve, I deserve it. Whatever it is. Shouldn't complain about nothing. Because he's been too good. He's been too good. He's been real good, the song said. He's been real good. Hallelujah. You don't know. You don't know. Oh, praise him. Praise Romans 10. Go over to Romans 10. Just flip on over. Romans 10. First three verses. Romans 10. First three verses. Oh, you don't know like I know. Romans 10. Hallelujah, Jesus. First three verses. You have it, say amen. Amen. Brethren, my heart desires in prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. My heart desire. My prayer. Is that people that are not saved? Yes, sir. That's, that's all our prayer. 
Amen. Every day. People that are not saved. Yes. Yes. Starting with family first. Amen. Amen. We all got family members that are not saved. All of us. They're spiritually ignorant. Some refuse to heal. Some here and not taking it in. Oh yes, oh yes. But the seed has been planted. The seed has been planted. Oh yes, Lord, Jesus, be patient. Somebody else can come and water it. Be patient, be patient. But God get the increase. God give the increase. Praise God. That's how He did in my life. That's how he did in all our lives. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I didn't want to hear it. No, no. Fearfully. Young, foolish. Yes, yes, yes. Praise it. Praise it. Thought I had it going on. Yes, sir. Throw it off. Throw it off. <laughs> Spiritually ignorant, Miss Pat. Amen. Hallelujah. But when the scales came off of my eyes. Revelation, Revelation. And I can see so much. The things of this world don't faze me because I know who holds the key to this world. And his will is going to be done regardless. I don't care how we look at things, but if you look at them through spiritual eyes, and if you read the book, praise God, amen. My Bible tells me he's the author and the finisher. For the joy that was set before, he endured. If he, if he can endure, we can endure also. Come on, man. Come on, man. 